Hey, what is up guys? Today we're back at Disneyland and we're gonna be trying all the underrated foods. So let's get rolling. We came over to Refreshment Corner and grabbed the mac and cheese bacon hot dog. It looks really good. It's really big. I think it's about a foot long. It's gonna be really tricky holding this thing. I don't know how they expect people to eat it. Grab, bought, there you go. Okay, wait, wait. Mmm. This is good. Okay, I just took my first bite in the hot dog and it is so good. It's a normal hot dog but with mac and cheese and bacon on top. The mac and cheese is super soft and it's it's like perfect. Everything works so well together and everything is just complementing each other as you take a bite in it. I would give this like 5 out of 5 easily and uh, this is one of my go-to snacks here at Disneyland. And it also comes with a bag of chips and everything together is only $9. All right, for our next treat, we're gonna head into Disney California Adventure. All right, so we just made it into California Adventure and we took a look at most of the menus at most of the restaurants. And uh, I, I'll have to admit, it's kind of overwhelming. There's a lot of food at a lot of different places. So we're trying to come up with one place I think we might try the burrito tacos, but uh, ultimately we're gonna try to check over at Lamplight Lounge, see if they have any reservations available, and we'll get more food over there. I really hope when they open up San Francisco, they add new food. Uh, right now, we don't know much about the food offerings, but I'm sure they'll add a restaurant or two, and I'm so excited to try some of the food they offer. Okay, so they actually did have some walk-in availability, only 15 minute wait, which isn't bad at all, over here at Lamplight Lounge. Uh, I haven't seen the menu at all, so I'm just going to be winging it. Whatever looks good, I'll try it out. And uh, yeah, Sebastian has been here before though. And uh, do you have any recommendations? A couple of the drinks, most likely. Like which one? Um, this Buzz Lightyear drink. It's pretty good. And then the, this mango orange type of drink is so good too. And honestly, they really don't have many options compared to the drink menu, which takes up the entire thing. Like, this is all the drinks. More drinks. Food. Okay, so the Buzz Lightyear drink that Sebastian was saying is not here anymore. It, it was called the Infinity Fizz. All right, so we got two drinks to start. We got the 2319, which is a frozen mocktail made with strawberry puree, cream of coconut, and pineapple juice topped with coca-cola and we also got the goofball island and that's just fruit punch minimade lemonade and raspberry puree all right i'm gonna try out the 2319 well that's actually really good it's just like a bunch of flavors combined into one drink but it's really good it's just like fruit punch, mini made, and raspberry, huh? It's really sour, but sour. I like sour. Okay. Next up, we got the donuts at Lamplight Lounge. We wanted something smaller so we can have a bigger appetite outside of Lamplight, but we got the hazelnut covered donuts, and it comes with like a hazelnut sauce and another white sauce. I'm very curious to see what that is. This is overrated. We told you we would, we would give you an underrated list, but this was overrated. All right, so this was my first time over here at Lamplight Lounge. And my honest review is it's not like really worth it if you're in it for food. They have a ton of drinks, so I would highly, ooh, world of colors going off in the background. I would highly recommend Lamplight Lounge if you're in it for drinks. They had a ton of like creative drinks and uh, the food menu was just so small. Uh, they do have really good nachos. Sebastian has had them before and they're they're pretty good. Uh, but lop with lobster, I don't like lobster. Also, I feel like things were a little too pricey there. Like a small burger was $23 
and uh, the person next to me got it and I kid you not, the burger was the size of my hand. It was just really small, maybe even smaller than that. We're gonna take another break from food and head on the Incredicoaster, so let's go. All right, we were walking through Avengers Campus and couldn't help but notice just a bunch of like random vloggers and stuff standing around. Apparently a new character is coming out, so we'll see who it is exactly, but they set up like a little stage and yeah. Do you know who I am? The Prowler. <laughs> Smell Uncle Aaron. <laughs> to be honest, I thought it was the Prowler. It looks like Uncle Aaron. But uh, it's uh, Nick Fury. It'd be so cool if they bring the Prowler to Avengers Campus with Miles Morales. That'd be so awesome. Next up, we came over to Cocina Cucamonga and got the Quesabaria tacos. These were 12 bucks, but look how delicious it looks. So the best part of this is the dipping sauce that comes with it. You just dip it. It's so good. This is my favorite thing to get over here at Disney California Adventure. So the quesadilla tacos were so good. Um, I'm not sure if they're actual like birria tacos because they're usually they usually use like goat meat, uh, but this tasted more like steak. And uh, they add cheese, and the the taco shell is actually like fried in a specific way, and they put like a specific type of oil on it and it's really good. The meat is so good because it like melts in your mouth and that's what I love so much about this quesadilla taco. It's been a really long time since I've ridden Radiator Springs Racers and I'm so excited to get on so let's go do it. All right, we just made it back to the Disneyland counterpart and we came over to Galaxy's Edge. Sebastian got the cold brew. Everyone knows this is delicious. Sebastian, give it a try. It's really good. Yeah? It's, I'm always so biased because I love coffee, but everything works. All right, next up we came over to the Frontierland churro stand because they have this awesome fruity cereal churro for $6.75. And here is that churro, which looks delicious. Also, Sebastian has never had a churro at Disneyland, so this is going to be his very first churro bite. Let us know how you like it. I grabbed a ton. Good? You like it? He likes it. Okay, here we go. Fruity Pebble Churro. Really good. I want to say it's pretty good. Yeah? What do you think? Yeah. It tastes right. more like the cereal part tastes like a bunch of like raspberry bits and then the sauce tastes like warm milk. 
-hmm. and it's it's actually really good. And it's just like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. It's really good. Hello, I'm a car. Uh, I'm gonna be reviewing the Pride Macaroon. I'm not gonna really them. It like? It's a lot of cherry and raspberry no. mixed together. If you think of it that way. It's soft, hard. Soft. Yeah. Very soft. It looks yeah. really good. All right, and for the last review of the night, we came over to Jolly Holiday and grabbed the Jolly Holiday combo, which is just a grilled cheese with tomato soup. Uh, I wanted to get the quesadilla sandwich, but we already had the quesadilla tacos, and it's literally the same thing in bread. So we, we tried something new. Let's t let's try it up. Are we dipping it? Yeah, just dip it. I don't know if we're gonna cheers this because it drip. Oh, okay, cheers it. Boom. Oh, it's good. It shouldn't work with the soup, but it does. I know. It's really good. This is amazing. This is so good. And that'll wrap up our video today here at Disneyland Resort. We had a lot of fun trying out all of the snacks. I'm so full. I don't think I'm gonna eat for the next two or three days. Sebastian won't eat for four days. Oh, and uh, that's gonna wrap everything up for today's video. I'm JP, that's Sebastian, how we see the movies. That's a wrap, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.